Listen, I'm not a big Jack Edwards guy, but what a call, because he's right. The Leafs looked terrible tonight. They looked disengaged, couldn't get the forecheck going to save their lives. They're losing puck battles. The power play, a mess. Just one for 14 in this first round. And of course, Marner losing the battle in front, complaining to the refs, just no fight. But the boiling point was this moment on the bench. Matthews upset at what people thought was Marner. And then Nylander clearly saying, stop f***ing crying, bro. And with the game Marner had, where he was just, yeah, not a great night for him, many people assumed Matthews was pissed at Marner here. But does it really look like he's looking at Marner? To me, it looks like he's looking at Nylander. That's what I think everyone's getting wrong about this. Because Nylander does say, stop crying bro but what he says next is not what is floating around the internet i'm pretty sure he says this is the fucking issue guys fucking pissed about shit now at the end of the day clearly everything is not right in paradise regardless of what he said and who he said it to but this does change the narrative as a penguins fan it reminded me a lot of the 2017 playoffs where kessel and malkin were barking at each other for almost the entire second period that penguins team wound up winning the cup that year and no, I'm not saying that's going to happen for the Leafs, but I do think this is an important moment. It's either the beginning of this group breaking through a barrier and really communicating with each other and holding each other more accountable, or it's the beginning of the end and this core gets split up. And again, while Marner got much of the blame, it seems like he's still got a high ankle sprain. But it's also been food poisoning for Matthews, who didn't finish this game, migraines for Nylander, who made his first appearance this game. It's been questionable goaltending, fairly piss poor coaching in my opinion. And so yeah, pick your poison, but this is bigger than one guy. And sometimes it just comes down to the other team being better. And I think the Bruins are simply better because Toronto had their chances this game. Just 342 in, the Bruins got called for too many men. Toronto to the power play and it was bad immediately. On the defensive, if anything, the Bruins were aggressive and easily killed it off, with the Leafs getting just one shot on goal. Then later in the period, it's Maroon and Edmondson both called for roughing, which would get us a four on four. But with Brody then drawing a penalty, McAvoy called for a slash here, would get Toronto back on the power play. And so now with a four on three opportunity, Tavares loses the face off, Nylander can't get the puck, and the Bruins send it down the ice. So how about we try that again? This time, they win the faceoff, but Tavares is trying to get this puck to Nylander. And with Matthews way up here, they end up losing the zone anyway. This is where coaching comes in. They played this like there was 10 seconds remaining on the clock. It's a four on three. You have space and time. You just win this faceoff, get possession, and go to work. There's no reason to rush this, and your only objective being Nylander gets the puck, gets it to Matthews, and the one-timer. Not getting anything done on the power play really seemed to kill their mojo, and sure enough, it wasn't long after the Bruins pinch. Reeves coughs it up right to Van Riemsdyk, who scores. A former Leaf to make it sting even more. And who's at fault here? It's easy to say it's Reeves, but Lorai makes a great decision to pinch. He forces this turnover. And yes, Reeves coughs it up, but it was a great read from Lorai to begin with. And more so, what is this from Samsonov? You could drive a semi through that gap as the Bruins would take a one goal lead. And as Marshawn does, he'd finish the period with with a low hit on Bertuzzi. But yeah, while the first wasn't great, the second was a nightmare. A battle in the corner and Domi gets called for a cross check. This would put the bees on the power play. And so on the kill, Marner doesn't make a block here. Then a weak effort going to his left when the puck is actually to his right is a poor decision. But in the process, he also lost his position at the top of the diamond. And so with McAvoy recognizing this, sees the Leafs are now forced to collapse, feeds Marshawn, and it's a two goal game as Marshawn with a beautiful one from below the dot rifles it home and becomes the all-time Bruins leader in playoff goals. But yeah, that's where we then got this. Toronto in the zone, Nylander with it, and instead of getting the puck on net, he opts to attempt the pass, which got broken up. Then shortly after, it's Marner in front catching a slight breeze, goes down and not engaged. He's barking at the ref, complaining instead. And from this is where the drama on the bench ensued. So was Matthews upset at Marner? He 
very well may have been, but I think he was specifically upset at Nylander here. Now, I'm not sure if it's because he wanted the puck on net here or what it was, but either way, obviously he wasn't happy. And just a few moments after that, it's Marner again, gets turned around and just not able to make an effective play. It certainly wasn't pretty. And with a dagger, Marshawn chips it past Brody for pasta and they score again, completely leaving Samsonov out to dry. Yes, Brody ends up giving it up, but he's also the only player even back to play at all. Now, going into the third, we did get a goalie change, Wall coming in, and while I thought the Leafs came and battled much harder, Labushkin catching a bar here. Ironically, it was Marner with a beautiful play to his backhand who would score their only goal of the game. I mean, of course he does. Catching heat from everybody in the second intermission, guys like Biz and Haruti letting it go, he wound up having the Leafs' sole goal of the game. But yeah, this team just doesn't have it right now. Nylander with nine to go, two goal game, takes a stupid penalty, which killed the clock, and yeah, they were swallowed up the rest of the game as the Bruins played a great road game and took game four on the road in Toronto. Now, I expect Toronto to come out hard for the fifth game, but honestly, I think they're toast. You guys let me know your thoughts down below, though. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.